Hi guys and welcome to RN Scrub. Today we're going to show you how to mix Catflow or Octoplace um, while performing hand hygiene of course. You have to remember that this is an order that you need. It's used for central line that has no blood return. Um, even when though it flushes it has a sluggish uh, blood return or it has no blood return and isn't flushable at all. So over here after you, you perform hand hygiene you're going to have some clean gloves um, this is your box that the pharmacy provides for you. And again, make sure that it's per protocol and that you have an order for this. Here we have the sterile water and the out of place or cath flow dry solution. You want to check the expiration date on both of these prior to mixing them, of course. And then you have your instructions. And off to the side here, we just have the alcohol that we're going to go ahead and rub the rubber portions of the opened uh, vials because this portion isn't um, sanitary or sanitized and sterile, remember? So we have to, to go ahead and sterilize it. And then over here, we have the 10 ml syringes, uh, one for each port. And then over here, you have a needle, whichever gauge, it doesn't matter, it's just for uh, transferring the finished product over to the 10 cc syringe and then a 3 ml syringe for reconstituting the fluid itself. Now we use a smaller syringe because it's a little bit easier to uh, get the accuracy correct. So I'm grabbing 2.2 ml of the sterile water and then Yep, slowly. Make sure you don't use NS, okay? And then you're going to go ahead and insert this into the outer place vial. Again, using still water and not NS. And as it's uh, drawing in, it, it kind of creates like a vacuum. You don't have to like push it in too hard because in other ways it's going to foam. So just gently push it in there. And then after this, you're going to go ahead and try to mix it. Make sure you don't shake it, okay? You can also remove the syringe for easier uh, swirling. You swirl, don't shake. It's going to cause it to foam if you end up shaking it. The finished product is uh, 2.2 ml. And it's going to be a concentration of 1 milligram of cath flow to 1 ml uh, solution. You let it sit for three minutes to dissolve fully. And then you go ahead and grab the same syringe with a blunt needle and you're going to go ahead and withdraw this. So draw up 2 ml, not 2.2, just 2 ml because each of these syringes we want 1 ml of each. So draw up the 2 ml of the mixture, again using a 3 ml syringe for accuracy, it's easier to see. There's the 2 mls right there, make sure there's no bubbles. You can recap the blunt needle so it's easier to twist it off. And then you grab your regular needle, it's already prepped open for you twist it on and be careful not to stab yourself okay it's a pretty large gauge right there and then you're gonna take your 10 ml syringe kind of shimmy it's back and forth so it's not stuck and then you're gonna carefully transfer 1 ml for each of these 10 ml syringes and it's about Yep, that's one ml right there. Then make sure you get all the bubbles out. I could see that there's one tiny bubble, of course, before injecting into the patient, you want that one bubble to go. So just keep that in mind. And then the same thing with the other 10 ml syringe. You're going to transfer the cath flow 
solution over. So basically you have two syringes for two ports or you can use it um, as a secondary if the first one doesn't work for one port. So you indwell the 1ml, which is final solution, cath flow into each port for 30 minutes. And then it could be checked after the 30 minutes. If there is blood return after the 30 minutes, you're going to go ahead and withdraw 5 ml of the blood solution with the cath flow. Don't inject it into the patient, okay? And then discard it and then flush it with 10 cc of NS. If, however, it doesn't work after the first try, you can go ahead and indwell the same cath flow for 120 minutes and then recheck again. And if it works, it works. Do the same thing, like I said, with the withdrawing of the blood and then flush it with NS. If it doesn't work, then you can try it the second time with a new cath flow solution. That's pretty much it. If it doesn't work after that, then go ahead and notify your physician. Thanks so much for watching. Comment and subscribe down below. Bye, guys.